It's been raining all day again, so I'll just go back inside and do some hacking. But I still wonder if I could do something about the bad weather. The weather appears ought to be really complex. Frida Trace is doing a good job here, but there is so many things inside I would also look into it with some static analysis. When browsing Apple's private frameworks, five of them are related to weather. Backtracing shows that all data comes via some weather data service parser, and this must be a perfect starting point for weather manipulation. I finally found the weather data, and it's a dict filled with dicts, with arrays, with dicts, and even more dicts. I really haven't seen such a huge dict in a while. Let me just take a picture of this. And you know what? I'm going to share this with my friends. I'm sure they will be impressed. I guess they were writing the app in winter because arrays in the dict are frozen. And even worse for me, dicts are mutable, strings are attacked, and all this just keeps me from manipulating the weather. But after converting all the types, I can finally change the values and reconstruct a dict. The code looks ugly, but at least it works. 